Good day, people. Uh, welcome to Julie Cube Acrylic Art from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm doing a pour for you today, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to do mostly dark colours, but I'm going to swipe in gold, and I am going to do a test on because I've had lots of people ask me. I'm going to do a test on half of my canvas will be torched with the butane and half of it will be torched with my wonder wand now my wonder wand had a little bit of an accident and i dropped it and then trod on it um it's still alive and it's still working but i have an, another one sent to me on the way now so i don't want to go without it because i have found that it's just perfect light easy to use and gives me the same results <clears throat> having said that people want to see the difference and said that we love your jilly clusters that you get from the butane torch so I'm going to just see um, if it gives me a different result but I'm kind of calling this one uh, dark as night because uh, I'm doing fairly dark colors in it so hoping that my gold going to use the Montmartre gold for my swipe I haven't swiped in gold for a while I did do a swipe in gold quite a long time ago this swipe was in gold um, it was over a failed pour <clears throat> yeah that obviously was a different gold to this so maybe this was back in the days when I was using global paints um, but I don't use them anymore I use the Montmartre so whoa I'm gonna see what the Montmartre creates for us but yeah I really liked that I liked the it was yeah all dark colors that went yucky so I just swiped the whole lot in the gold and then did some balloon embellishing so look at this lace and everything see that's quite effective that was a nice one I like that um, so I'm sure it won't turn out anything like that because they were completely different paints and that was like something that I kind of, you know, like it was a, a failed pour that I just tried to save with the gold swipe and yay, it did. So, here we go. Excuse my voice, I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit. I've just had a cold. I haven't got the virus or anything, but of course we are self-isolating like everybody is asked to do in Australia at the moment. If you don't need to go out, we haven't. So I've just been entertaining myself, planning my art room. So there you go. Um, self-isolate and create is what my motto has been. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I have mixed all of my paints with the 7030 clear PVA. If you're in the US and you can't get this particular brand right now, I believe it is coming more prevalent, prevalent in the US, um, then the Elmer's Glue All is works equally as good but they're the only two that I really love <coughs> so yeah losing my voice just a little bit perhaps my husband will be happy about that but uh, <laughs> anyway we will get on with this particular test so 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 I mixed all my paints and I put two drops of Helmar silicon my pouring recipe and everything is in the drop down box underneath this video so first of all this was i mixed the cerulean blue and then i don't know what i just added some of the phalo blue and it's kind of sent it like this dark teal uh, not too overly excited with it but it was just again another um try that you know another um custom color that i was trying to create and if you like it you like it and you don't you don't uh, i'm not that keen on this particular one but i can already see that i haven't mixed it too good because i can see the um like a marbling from the light and the dark already coming in it so it might turn out a good thing 
Uh, so that was the cerulean and it had phthalo blue mixed in with it. So this is what I mixed in with that particular one, just a bit of this. So I'm going quite dark on this one because the pour I just did before this uh, was all the colours of the rainbow because I believe we all needed brightening up and some rainbows in our lives. So I did a really nice bright pour. So now I'm going dark as night. <laughs> but hopefully it's still cheerful. So I'll go around the edges with that. Loving the blues. Okay, I'm going to put some of this purple. So this is the Montmartre purple into there. So I hope you're all keeping safe and well and doing the right thing and staying home, creating, just going out to get your necessities. It's a bit of a shocking thing for us all to go through, but, you know, hopefully that it's happening worldwide but we're all pull through this together wow that's really dark <laughs> looking at that thinking what am I doing okay now probably silver and gold won't go that nice will it but we'll give it a go this is the silver I always this is the silver metallic and I always try to make the metallics up a lot thicker than the other because they just seem to sink into your work probably more than enough um, now a real dark one that I'm going to add to the mix this was crimson now I've, I wrote it on my stick but the ah I made up crimson, I added the phalo blue and a blob of brack, so it normally comes out a really dark cherry, but I think this is more than a dark cherry, it's really quite dark, so I'm not going to put too much in it, but remember I'm trying to do a dark as night um, pour, not that they ever turn out how I envisage, but I always get pleasantly surprised, so I can't really complain. And I'm hoping that the gold will just make all these colours pop. So, I did have a Viridian, but I'm not going to use the Viridian. I'm going to keep with those dark colours, and I'll give it a slow tilt. So it's just tilting to mix basically or let the colours roll over one another but without hopefully muddying. So you hear these, we've got these black cockatoos that have spent the last couple of days just circling our property, landing in tree. We counted 22, they're red tail, yellow tail black cockatoos and they're quite rare even in Australia. So we're not quite sure what's going on with them at the moment because, um, yeah, they don't appear to stay, well, they don't normally stay around for more than just a fly past, but for, for whatever reason, they're pretty noisy, they're making their presence known and just keep flying all day. So I'm not quite sure, yeah, what's going on. I hope they did something good. <laughs> Don't need any um, more drama in our lives or more stress. So this is what I think. If you stay home, you order your paints online and canvases, which you can easily do. They're still delivering. Um, and create, even if you haven't tried this art form before. They're free online tutorials for you to learn while you're at home now and give give the um, your creative streak a, an opportunity, I suppose. So these are taking a little while to tilt around the canvas because they're obviously a lot thicker, thicker mixed. So I'm just now I've got it basically covered. I'll just retilt to. Retilting the canvas to 
self center it all put it all bring it all back to the center of the paint okay dark moody colors definitely just grab myself a cloth because i didn't this will be quite interesting to do the um gold swipe just finger pop in the very edges so that's what you don't don't stress if you don't tilt them over your edge because you can waste a lot of paint trying to get over those edges just run your fingers underneath the lip of your canvas and then with the paint that you've got just finger pop the edges okay wonderful 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 wow it's either going to be a master or a disaster so we'll get busy Lizzie okay gold swipe it is yeah pretty excited to do this because like I said I haven't done a gold swipe for quite a while now gold this is an absolutely stunning shimmery gold in the month mark I have put two drops of the Helmar in all of the paint including this gold so here we go I'm going to do it through the middle so it will give you all a yeah that's probably a thick thick line of gold but I want it to you know really make those other colors pop here we go the cockatoos are going overhead again something going on all right this is my soft plastic file divider i'm going to use for my swipe best swipe tool and that's what i make my swifty swipe at so just drop in about a centimeter into the paints just bring it down nice and slow it's made a real shimmer over the top Wow, oh, I like it already. Just nice and slow, just relax. Just draw it to you. There you go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Okay, just move that up away. I might give this a turn around. Oh, that is shimmery. It's really made all those blues and purples really shimmery. Shimmery. Okay. Keep going with it. Keep going with it. They're just shimmering from the metallic in the gold and obviously the silver too a bit there. But very. What a brilliant swipe though just to leave as it is without if you wanted to leave it as this swipe because it's got the colours are just shimmering through it. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So, people, the big test. My Jilly's Wonder Wand on one side, and I'll do the butane torch on the other. Okay? I love my Wonder Wand because it's um, great for people that are scared of using the gas. I haven't got to keep changing cylinders, and it's not going to burn my paint. It just does the same thing, but at a slower pace. So I'll give it a go over this side at the back and then I'll try my torch.
does it heat the paint up so much slower than what the butane does because the butane is an instant hit of heat on that but look at those gorgeous cells through that that is that is going to be beautiful okay i haven't used this for a while but let's go Ooh, see um i will just shake it over in the same manner but this is obviously i've got to stand further away Uh, to do my jelly clusters, I just used to bang it up and down basically to make clusters. I'm going to leave that teeny tiny cluster here, like little. I think the uh, metallic has given a different probably outcome than if I just uh, tried that test with. So. That side is the heat wand, this side is the um, butane torch. Uh, there's not really a great difference. There's a few of really teeny tiny like cluster cells here, but then there's excellent cells within cells here. And of course it's still developing. This thick line will go because I'm going to work with this down the centre. But that is quite beautiful. What do you think, guys? Just give you a bit of a close-up so you can have a look. Oop, oop, oop. There you go. So the butane torch is the far one. So, I mean, it will develop a bit further over the next 20 minutes or so. Um, Obviously not a great deal of difference really. Uh, the butane torch is, seems a little bit slower developing which is not what I expected but that seriously could be because I've used the metallics to swipe with. So I just want to grab a balloon. I, um, I, I am going to balloon this particular one because I don't want to leave all that thick but it'll probably be too wet to do it at the minute so I'll just give it a try wow that's not really mixed the colours too good that one's nicer so let's see if I can get a bit of that Maybe I don't really need to do too much ballooning in this, but it's definitely, oh, I like the dark with the, oh, look at that. I need to pop that on something. Okay. I might leave this for a little bit, come back, but yeah, that dark is really nice. Yeah, maybe I won't be doing too much ballooning. So uh, I've showed you before what to do with the balloon is uh, either get your balloon by the belly button and just for a kiss, you just push it in and push it back and let it come back out. Uh, wipe your balloon off, especially if there's a, a lot of paint on it like that. And a balloon roll is basically like an S motion. So... As weight, uh, the paint is too, it's too much paint on there at present time. So best to come back. That looks like a shark with its teeth. But yeah, lots of people ask me if they might just be watching one of my videos for the very first time and haven't seen. But I don't think I want to do any balloon work in the um, areas. But having said that, I may very well do. I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. Oh, Look at that and come back um, and I will put the end result photos on for you but I'm really happy with that when that gold has dried it's really gonna make that whole work pop um, thank you guys for being with me today and joining me I appreciate it very much so you know you just hop on and look at my whole um, playlist of videos there's beginners videos there's videos for mix yeah well in the beginners videos it shows you how to mix paints if 
you want to try this art, um, acrylic pouring abstract art and you're just beginning, there's lots of information there. And also for people that have been pouring, it's all also nice to learn different things from each other. So thanks guys for joining me. Please stay safe until next time and don't forget to wait till the end and look at the end results of this particular piece. So bye for now.